Hi guys, Bleach here, welcome to my channel. Um, these are two stampers that I currently have in my possession. The one on the right I have finished, the one on the left I just started working on today. Um, the one on the right um, I have up for sale. Well, um, I just wanted to tell you I started working on the one on the left today. I'm compiling a, a video for you guys on uh, what I'm doing with it. It did not come with that engine that's on there. What I'm worried about is, um, it, all, it does have the gas tank too. What I'm worried about is, uh, it's missing the front right tire on there. Uh, over in uh, this picture there, it's got the tire on it. What I'm worried about is, is it could uh, be missing a C-clip. I might have a C-clip there. Or the tip is broke off that holds the uh, pin in there. Because this one over here had pins in it, and it's just like the other one. I'm not sure. This is a 33-inch stamper. Mind you, I never worked on it before, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You can just go along and just look at how things piece together. Most of these stampers from this time period all made the same. Um, this It came with this tire, I believe. It's no good. I believe it was the replacement. For uh, this tire over here, because this one is uh, uh, brand new from that side, also replaced this tire on the left. This bagger was no good. I replaced this one, uh, this engine with the Briggs. It runs uh, decent, half decent. It uh, it goes over a little bit, but it, when you put the deck on, it stops. Well, uh, um, let me see. It did not come with that engine, of course. He uh, put that on uh, his, uh, his third stamper he had, and he gave me the other engine. that had the oil plug out of it, and it leaked oil all over my good pants down my leg, which made me happy. I should put my work pants on when I'm picking up stuff. Didn't think stuff would be leaking on my leg. But um, what I'm getting at is... Um, See here, I'm, I'm kind of tired of just rambling here for you guys, but I'm I'm working on this, and hopefully I'll have a a video done by the end of July or mid August for you guys. I may throw up some little teaser videos here and there. What I really want to do, I, I want it's going to be hard. I would like to wire the key switch. This probably originally had a solenoid. What I'm going to do is use that push button um, switch that Jim Jackson gave me, and uh wire it in there or uh, and then i'm going to take a, a choke lever one of those long chokes and put the choke right where the key switch is so i can hand choke it i don't know if everyone's ever thought to do that before or i can use a throttle cable and choke it too on the side of the uh, engine but um yeah i just wanted to tell you that guys and uh um stay tuned for that and stay tuned for uh a uh, really scary video that I'm going to upload tomorrow. It's not all that scary, but it, it's it, it's it's a good thing. It's clear. Uh, um, I'm I'm going to go to a parking lot with my uh, mom, and she's going to film me, and I'm going to try and uh, not to hit parked cars in the parking lot, basically, and videotape it for you guys. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys. Uh, join me talking about this and uh i'm just compiling a uh, little pieces uh video here of me working on this stamper on the left and i should have it together it should work hopefully i, I do have uh another uh rod arm on the original stamper i can put in there to make it work but i wonder if these are different on these 33 inch stampers when they have the uh retaining or the c-clip but i'm gonna let you guys go hope you enjoyed this video and uh please like comment share and subscribe peace guys love you see ya see what i'm driving oh god scary guys